What's up guys, Kool-Aid here, and today we're going to take our first look at the Point Man class. Now, I will say right off the bat, this is my favorite class in the game. However, at first I did struggle with this class just a little bit. Mainly for two reasons. First off, this class does not have a pistol as a sidearm. This is the only class in the game that doesn't. Instead, you get a little mini 870 shotgun. Now, right off the bat, I was trying to use this shotgun almost like a primary, which you can but you have to be within about 10 feet of your enemy. Within about 10 feet, this gun absolutely destroys. Outside of that range, this thing basically shoots marshmallows and is completely useless. Once you get this down, though, this gun really does work well as a sidearm, and it works well for what it's intended for, and that's basically close-range domination. You are the point man. You get in and you clear rooms. That's your job. So... Once you get the range down on this thing, this thing becomes a beast. The other thing that was throwing me off with this class was the high-powered ammunition. The high-powered ammunition is the unique class ability that the pointman has that basically makes your gun do more damage, but also vastly increases the recoil. Now, originally I was trying to use this basically every time I spawned in for every gun. And you just don't want to do that. This stuff for the most part is complete crap. I wouldn't suggest using it really on anything other than the LaRue 556 simply because that is a semi-auto and you're not going to get nearly the recoil that you do on these fully autos. Now I know you're probably thinking why can't you just burst fire it? It just it's the recoil is so intense that you have to even when you're bursting you have to take so long in between shots to uh, recenter the target that it's just not worth it. You know, aside from using it on the semi-autos, there are very few times that I would suggest using it. Possibly if you're going to go try and clear a room where you know you're going to be at very close range. But in that case, you might want to just pull out your 870 and go to town anyway. So, as a whole, I'm not a big fan of high-powered ammunition. And once I actually stopped using it, I became a lot better at this class. Now, to go with the 870 shotgun... You do get a variety of some of the meteor assault rifles, I would say. Uh, the AK-103 is my personal favorite. Once I actually got the optics off this gun, I absolutely fell in love with this. And this gun shot right up my weapon, uh, my weapon charts as my top gun. And it's not even close at this point. I absolutely love this thing. The other guns in this are the one that I mentioned, the LaRue 556, the F88, or AUG as we probably know it. I'm not sure if there's actually a difference. And then there's the AK-5C, which seems to be set up for, you know, the agility weapon of the class. Uh, I've used them all. I've used the AK-103, obviously, more than the rest of them. But they all seem very effective. And, uh, you know, if you, whatever one you choose does seem like it will get the job done. Now, to go along with your weapons in this kit, you are the only class that gets a non-lethal grenade as your, as your grenade. Um, you get flashbangs. Now, you have to be careful with these things because you can flash your teammates. Unlike all the other grenades, which you can throw and you won't kill your teammates, these will definitely flash your teammates. So just be aware of that, where you're throwing these things around. You can, of course, flash yourself as well, so be aware of that. Um, I would much prefer a frag grenade, but in circum certain circumstances, these things can be very, very good, such as uh, clearing rooms out. You throw a couple of these in a the room, you run in, you take people out with your 870, and you know that, that definitely gets the job done. Um, let's talk about point streaks a little bit. Um, now, your first tier point streak for this class is not necessarily going to instantly get you any kills, but it should actually be more effective in my opinion. It's the RQ-11 Raven. It's basically a UAV. You throw it up in the direction you want to spot enemies. It'll do a little circle and spot for a little bit. I don't know how long exactly, but uh, it's very helpful. Very team oriented. You throw this up over an objective. You throw you know where people are coming from. Um, overall, probably my favorite tier one point streak of any class. Tier two, you have the air burst mortars, and just as any other mortars, you designate a spot on the ground. Stuff falls out of the sky and kills people. Now, I don't know if there's a difference between all the mortars. I know they have a different animation. But I do not know if they have a different area of effect or anything like that. They all seem to work very effectively when I use them. However, the air burst does seem to always net me the most kills. I don't know if that's just because I'm getting better at using them. But 
they do seem very effective and you know like with any mortars don't just waste them on nothing wait till you know there's going to be a clump of people uh that's a pretty much all the advice, advice i can give you on those um third tier you have the little bird now i've only got to use this once i called it in you designate a spot on the ground it seemed to come in it killed one person i wasn't watching exactly how it killed them but it seemed to fly off really fast so i don't know if it's kind of like a bombing run uh or what but it seemed like the RQ-7 would be much more effective in this spot. Um, if you guys can fill me on exactly what the Little Bird does, that would be great. But uh, overall, that RQ-7 is just so badass, it's hard not to use it. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much all I have for this kit. One other thing to note is that this kit is the fastest aside from the Spec Ops in the game. So you're going to want to use that to your advantage as well. And that's another reason why I love this class so much and why it's probably my favorite class in the game. You know, just the speed, having an AK and an 870, what else could a guy ask for? So anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all later.